Hey guys, Yue here. So today I will be doing a May garden tour. I am due for a garden tour and the garden is starting to fill in and everything is uh, looking really, really nice. So I will be separating this video in two parts. One is the front yard and one is the backyard uh, because I tend to talk about plants a lot and the videos get really, really long. So for those of you who are new to my channel, I garden in New Jersey in zone six. So we have very cold winters with lots of snow and we have very hot summers that are very humid. So um, kind of challenging climate to garden in. So anyway, let's get started. Okay, so I will start with this beauty. This beautiful dogwood is a Venus dogwood and it is the largest flowers. It has the largest flowers out of all dogwoods. They are about six inches across. Just absolutely amazing plant. This one is um, about five years old and I bought it in Rare Find Nursery as a sapling. And this is the first year where it had like tons and tons of blooms. It is just a magnificent tree, really easy to take care of, um, drought tolerant, does not get anthracnose like the other dogwoods do. But look at these flowers, isn't this just gorgeous? Okay, so the second plant that I have in the front yard is this beautiful mountain laurel. Um, this one is probably almost 30 years old and it's just about to peak blooming. Um, I have been trying to revive it. It has obviously seen its better days, but I just love this plant. It looks like a wedding dress to me when it blooms. So uh, I highly recommend this. This is a native plant to mid-Atlantic. Really, really nice shade plant. Nice structure, beautiful flowers. All right, so I normally do the other side of the border first. This is our um, perennial border, but the light is so beautiful right now on this side of the border that I just wanted uh, to show you what it looks like also i apologize for all the noise we live in a very busy street and there are tons of planes passing by so i do apologize in advance so we do have some uh, roses blooming the rose season is about to start um i had this azalea blooming earlier it's just about done but i will flash a photo of what it looked like i had this whole area full of azaleas and of course I bought some plants today. I got some lavender going on here. All of my lavender died last winter. We had a horrible winter. So I will be putting these. I might do a video about these and the reason why they're going in there. Uh, I have some salvia going on there. This is Baptisia. Beautiful, again, native plant to New Jersey. I'm gonna keep the camera as steady as I can because I know some of you guys get dizzy. And now this light is just so beautiful. I love filming in the afternoon into the light. So I wanted to show you these two gorgeous plants. Well, there's actually, I think three or four. So this is a rhododendron and they were here uh, before we moved in. Um, so they're probably 30 years old. And this one I pruned about three years ago. And this one I didn't prune. So you could see the difference. But beautiful, beautiful blooms. I do fertilize it with holly tone because that's what they like. Bees adore this plant and since we're here, that's a climbing hydrangea over there and it's about 10 years old. I did plant it myself and it took about seven years for it to bloom for the first time. I 
Okay, so just past the rhododendrons, we do have some peonies that are starting to bloom. Gorgeous, huge flowers. And my shadow. <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> All right, so this space, I actually did a video about these pots and how I put them together uh, a couple of days ago. I am enjoying them so far. They are just beautiful. Everything about them is perfect. All right, so now moving to the other side of the border, um, I did talk earlier about this um, kiwi. This is a hardy kiwi. And these are some petunias that are waiting to be planted for like the longest time. And I do have uh, these alliums. These are globe masters. One of my favorite. Again, huge, huge flowers. Have some roses to really get that shadow out of the <laughs> out of the frame but yeah th so this is um, our walkway to the kitchen and I did plant the devil strip so those are like mostly weeds but a lot of them are cleomes and some very uh, interesting plants that I'm going to replant some more peonies the roses are starting to bloom Those little pink flowers are wild geranium and this one is uh, one of the Austin roses. I love this one. It's so fragrant. Looks beautiful next to this clematis. This is HF Young. Look how they look together. So pretty. This is Penstemon Dark Towers. I love the foliage on this. And they will bloom. Um, I believe they're pink flowers. Have some salvia blooming. This clematis, I think, needs a bigger obelisk. It outgrown it, as you can tell. Some of it, uh, some of the perennial border still has to fill in, but some of the beautiful flowers are in peak bloom, like this Amsonia right here. One of my favorite native plants. It has very, very pale blue, almost white flowers and like an amazing orange fall color. This is uh, Johnson's Blue Geranium. And I think this is about where I'm going to stop for the front yard. I hope you enjoyed the garden tour of the front yard. Stay tuned for the garden tour of the backyard. And I will see you next time. Bye.